Hi, welcome to another exciting edition of Ion Gardening. My name's Tim Allen. I'm your show host. Hey, don't go surfing channels around on your old buddy Tim. I got a show for you today. It's going to knock your socks off. We're on the Gulf Coast of Florida. We're on the road trying to be a blessing to you. We got an exciting location here today. We're at the John and Mabel Ringling Museum. It's an art museum. It's a mansion. Cut as on as the mansion, by the way. The Ringling Home, and we have a show. Miniature Circus Museum, don't go away. You're not gonna believe today's show. Lots of gorgeous plants, beauty. We're going through every square inch of this property. We're gonna bring you a lot of fun, and man, wait till you see the inside of Catazan. This mansion is gonna blow you away. Get your wooby, get your sweet tea, get in the recliner, get on the sofa, couch, rocket chair, whatever you want. Get something to eat, something to drink. You ain't gonna wanna miss nothing. Get a notepad and welcome to another edition of Ion Gardening. And this fun's gonna happen now, otherwise I'm gonna bust. Now, while you're visiting the Ringling Museum, don't be racing through here. Take your time. Check these pictures out. Now, look at this one behind me. For you, those of you that went to Sunday school, probably heard of Abraham and Melchizedek. Well, this is a picture that you are not going to believe. Look at the size of it. Look at the scale. I'm standing just forward. It's right behind me, and it is huge. Now. You will go through each room. It's going to take you through different time periods and different artists, and there are different specialties. Each room is going to have a focal piece, a specific piece that will make the statement for that room, which all of the other art will begin to complement or revolve around, if you will. Now, one thing I had to learn, and I'm happy to pass it along to you, the docents and the people that work with us here really brought out the detail and slowed me down and was able to show me to look for the hidden figures and the detail that you will find in all of these paintings. You can't just go by and go, hmm, ah, uh, hmm, okay, that's really cool, let's move on. You're gonna miss it. You're barely gonna scratch the surface. Take some time, look at the detail, look at the depth. My God, it's some of these pictures you can see for miles in these landscapes. There's some really cool Monet features in here that everybody will enjoy. I'll be a hit with everybody. And I'll tell you what, believe it or not, the kids, the kids go bonkers. They love these giant pictures with the colors. Absolutely out of this world now for everybody else. From grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, the kids, I don't care who, teenagers, trust me, you will be so in awe in this museum at the detail, the precision brush strokes of every piece of art in here. Don't forget the statues, man. Check out the details. Some of the furniture in here, man, you just got to take your time. Don't rush through here. Now another cool thing at the John and Ringling Museum here is they do have an area set aside where they rotate exhibits out. Now there's a traveling exhibit here now, which means it's going to be here for a period of time. You're checking it out. You come in and enjoy it. They're going to pack it up and it's going off to another uh, art museum. So these traveling features make sure that when you're visiting, you find out through the brochure, which by the way, get a brochure. This property's huge, and you're going to miss a lot if you don't look at the map, take your time, plenty of places to sit down when you're walking through, see where you're going to go. But these traveling exhibits in the museum, 
don't miss them. They're a key feature, and uh, they do rotate them out over the course of the year. Now, once you've checked out all of the art, all of the different art pieces, get out in the courtyard. Check out the statues, the art pieces, all of the carved uh, concrete statues. Check out the fountains. My God, spectacular out of this world. And just like when you're inside the museum, look up. Look around the outer edge of the museum right above you and the gorgeous arches and pillars that surround you. Look at the statues. Every single one of them carved to detail for everyone's enjoyment. This location is out of this world. Don't rush it. Take your time. For heaven's sakes, get a brochure. You're not going to want to miss anything. You're here at this awesome museum. Now, we're here in the Tibbles Learning Center. Boy, I'll tell you, what do you think of this detailed scale model of exactly what took place when the greatest show on earth rolled into town? Boy, I feel like just jumping right in and having me a good old time because you are not going to believe the detail here and the painstaking time that was put into creating this awesome, awesome model to represent in detail exactly what occurred when uh, Ringling Brothers, Barn and Bailey Circus, pulled into town. Boy, posters, colors, fun, people. They turned off the radio. Man, there wasn't a TV or nothing. They turned the radio off, they slammed the icebox door shut, and they hit the road. They grabbed the whole family and they got to the circus, and boy, they couldn't wait for the circus to come back the following year. Now, while you're cruising along here, you're gonna get to see some model railroads that were actually used in the show. A lot of this stuff is very authentic and or replications in detail of the exact pieces that were used. Now, when you're walking around the front of this model, you need to walk all the way around because I almost made the mistake of thinking that was it. And I was blown away seeing the front. Go around back and they peel away the top of the big top. You get to see all the excitement and action inside. And believe me, you're going to think you're right there with them. Now, it's not over yet. Go on up another floor, hop on the elevator, take the stairs, what have you. You know what? You're having so much fun, you might even just float on up this third floor. When you get up there, there's a lot of circus memorabilia. Take your time, turn the cell phone off. No laptops. You want to get that beeper off your hip, turn it off, make it go away, throw it in the glove compartment, in the truck. You don't want to be distracted. You want to have a lot of fun. And man, I'll tell you what, you're going to have it here. Don't rush along. Take your time. Enjoy some of the uh, videos they have to play. They have a lot of vintage tape uh, showing you a lot of these different shows in the museum. And uh, don't, don't rush it. Don't rush it. It's well worth it being here and you're going to want to savor every minute and build powerful memories for you and your family. Now when you're on the second floor there's a little cubby area they've got a lookout point just for you. Step on into that lookout overlook, glance down and man I'll tell you what, it's going to knock your socks off. You can see the entire circus layout just from above encompassing the massive, massive display of talent that arrived in town when the circus showed up. Now, always look up. You never know when you're going through all of these locations, including the museum. If you don't look up, you're going to miss half of the fun of being here. Art, displays, memorabilia just above your head. Now, when you're here on the Ringling Estate property just outside of Kadazan, their home, their mansion, Mabel Ringling loved to have a little area. It's called a secret garden. Now, this is the onesie twosie garden. And what that means is friends and guests would love to bring Mabel a flower for her garden. Maybe they'd bring one or two or three or what have you. It's not a formal hedgerow. We don't have it all. 
Uh, there's no rhyme and reason here. There's just, you got roses, you got begonias, you got maybe one exora and one rubecchia. You may have some aloe mixed with periwinkle, and then you've got robolini palm. There's no rhyme or reason here. She didn't want that. She wanted an area where she could just put an array, an assortment of flowers here for color, and it sure works. Right outside the main mansion home, and I'll tell you what, John and Mabel and John's sister Ida are buried on property right here, right behind the secret garden. So they're still looking over this garden and this property today. And uh, God bless them, man. They, they came with nothing into this world. They were very poor and uh, they worked hard and they blessed people with awesome circuses. They got involved in the railroad and so forth, uh, real estate. And boy, they went from having nothing to just uh, the windows of heaven opened up on them. And man, they had more than enough. And today they're blessing people with this awesome location, letting people come and enjoy and walk and preserve this area uh, on Sarasota Bay where people can come and enjoy. So check out this secret garden. Check out all the gardens, all the plant material here. Stroll through here. Take your time. Check out everything here. You're going to have a blast. You're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to learn about plants. You're going to see a lot of wonderful, wonderful things here in Mabel's Secret Garden. Now here at the Ringling Museum in Sarasota, Florida now, specifically, look behind me. I'm at Cotizan. I'm at John and Mabel Ringling's mansion. And boy, I'll tell you, that's exactly what it is. You need to check this place out. When you're here on this property, look at this architecture, will you? You don't see this every day. You need to go to palaces somewhere in, my God, India or Indonesia or England. You just don't see this here in Florida. But they got it here just for you and John and Mabel Ringling little eccentric don't get me wrong they got a lot of they got a ton of money they were dirt poor at one time but when they got a whole bunch of money they wanted to have something real cool and build a legacy that they could leave behind and they sure did that here now Katazan, the architecture here everything here i could go on for hours but what i encourage you to do is there are books and reference materials on the property you can go onto their website at ringling.org learn about this location I don't want to miss anything. Now, this was a wonderful story about this man, how he came up with nothing and he met his wife and they got together and they, they just, they, they worked well together and they created this awesome circus um, memory for us and this, this traveling worldwide circus, this home, these grounds, the art museum, the art collections. But like I said, these, these aren't like mega money people, bazillionaires. They started with nothing. Okay, dirt poor. And they started with nothing and grew and built, had dreams, had visions, created. I love the circus. They went in to towns where people were listening to the radio, working on their farms, going to work. They had no fun, no excitement for the kids and this and that. They brought in the biggest show on earth, which is the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Man, everybody just went nuts when they knew the circus and the big top was in town. And the Ringlings, when you come to this home and you feel there's a lot of warmth here as you walk through, yeah, some of the furniture can be a little much, but I think you're going to see the heart and the passion of these people. And at each different level of the home, you will be in awe of what they did in the early 1900s. How the heck did they get this stuff here? They, they, you know, they didn't just like drive down the street and get a mover and say, hey, bring this stuff over, we're building a mansion here. You're just going to enjoy every single minute of your time here at this museum. Now, when you get inside, don't rush, turn the beeper off, shut the cell phone off, put the laptop away, enjoy. They have guided tours for you, or you can go on your own. Now, you can start the tour. Then go through and you say, hey, you know, okay, that's enough. I want to go on my own. You can do that. You can go on your own. There's all kinds of little walkways that'll kind of spin off to uh, John Ringling's study, a uh, little workout area he had. He had an area where he had a barber's chair and he could do exercises and a massage area with a nice shower off to the side. Mabel's bedroom, the master bedroom, is out of this world. 
Uh, John Ringling had in one of the levels a whole level just for like a pool table and he could have his buddies over to sit around and talk and play pool and maybe put together, hook up some real estate deals or railroad deals or what have you or talk about some circus stuff, shows where they're going to go next. Mabel loved her gardens. She loved decorating and entertaining in the home. You're going to see that when you're walking throughout this property. So I encourage you to take your time, take some notes, get some books on these folks. Wonderful, wonderful story. I'm not going to try to do it justice in a 30-minute TV series. Get some books, read up on these guys, have a lot of fun here, enjoy your family, and enjoy your time at the Ringling Museum here in Sarasota, Florida. Wow, what I tell you, John and Mabel Ringling, did they bless you today? Did we bless you with the Ion Gardening Show? Is this a cool place? Man, you want an exciting travel destination? You want to check out plants, learn about gardening and plants and landscaping all in one bundle? You want to go to the greatest show on earth? You need to get here, Sarasota, Florida, the Ringling Museum. And man, I'll tell you, I'm like a big kid that just been cut loose and somebody told him the circus coming to town. The miniature circus here, the Cotizan Mansion, John and Mabel Ringling's home, the secret garden, the Mabel's Rose Garden, everything here. And you take a look at Sarasota Bay off the rear of this home. My God, I can't even imagine living like this. But I'll tell you what, it's not like they were just a bunch of rich people that really didn't care. They just wanted to be rich. They were awesome people, man. They helped develop this Sarasota and Central Florida. They created a circus to bless people, kids and all ages alike. And before they passed away, they wanted to preserve the heritage of the circus so that it doesn't just get buried and go away. They preserved a, a mini museum, an art museum, this beautiful mansion. They wanted people to come and enjoy. Now here, you can come in daily. It's just like a park. You can tour the home. You can check out art. They've got a lush tropical uh, garden throughout this facility. You want flower and trees, palm trees. You want ornamental horticulture, beautiful flowers and plants. Art, statues, sculpture, man, this is one big bang for the buck, I'll tell you. I have had a blast here. I grew up in Florida. I was here. I was probably eight, nine, ten years old. Heck, what I know then, I just said, hey, are we done yet? Can I go home and play with my friends? Here I am a few years later, not been that many years later, by the way, and I enjoyed every minute here. And you get me in that circus museum with the little miniature circus model display. I felt like I was in a circus somewhere. It was a blast. I'd like to encourage you to check out the Ion Gardening website. Go to iongardening.com, send me an email, let me know what you thought of today's show, because the show's for you. I want you happy, because if you ain't happy, I ain't got a show and nobody's happy. It's my job to be a blessing to you and your family. Get your focus off of the news and the newspaper and terrorism and God knows what get you to enjoy life, get you into church, get you to be a blessing to other people and enjoy travel destinations and enjoy your family. Be sure to check out our mobile text messaging tips, gardening tips to your cell phone, Ion Gardening gift shop, maybe a barbecue apron, apron with Ion Gardening logo, t-shirts, doggy t-shirts, caps, visors, mouse pads. Gosh, I created all kinds of fun stuff. Very affordable. It would be a real blessing if you bought some stuff. Man, I'll tell you, Papa needs a new pair of sneakers. Get, get some stuff off that show site. I'm just teasing you. God bless you. Watch out for our new show, Ion Travel. Exciting travel destinations, RVing, cruise ships, and resorts filmed just for you. So until next time, remember to keep your eye on gardening. We'll see you next show.